to this time is on the A4. Still clean on those headshots and all of Maestro. Oh, how does he not get a kill there? So close to taking down Zantaras, but Tabson and Zantaras double up. In some, uh, some pretty cool moments. I know Tabson likes to use it too. Here comes Keto, but this time the pistol round won't be quite as successful for him. Yeah, just one gets shredded out very quickly by Twist, and Tabson now goes aggressive. He's got one, a second kill, and Tizian's flank is working out perfectly. Faze kind of been sandwiched, and they're destroyed. Zantara's in pit. Here's the bomb plant starting to come in. Wasn't too far off landing those bullets through the smoke. Well, Faze Clan, a man to the good, and the bomb plant, you certainly start to favor the chances. That was the chance for Rain to get the kill into the pit player, though, and now they run in. Kido's killing everybody, even his own teammates are getting some. And now Olaf Meister and Brokey, all they've got to do is hold on, and that's easier said than done. The bomb's not planted. Time ticking. Tizian, he's been quiet so far, as Zantara's just waiting in the back lines. Flash is going in, time starting to really become a limiting factor and all of Meister's let them run past. Now the smoke reveals all of Meister's deadly frag and Tizian snaps onto the head of all of Meister, throws the smoke down onto the bomb, twist, he's not getting the spam right. Oh, he's not done it, Tizian right to the smoke, steals away the round, the defuse in the final seconds, the dying embers deliver bigger round. And here as well in the top mid walkout, just getting caught from the boost. Oh, Tabson so close to the smoke. Grenade goes soaring in. Will it catch them? It's close and it finds Brokey. Luckily, Carrigan runs right through the smoke and gets the trick kill. The battle of the in game leaders, at least Carrigan wins out the infight, but Tabson gets something before falling. Olaf Meister luckily getting a headshot onto Tizian. Bigger damage, they're low on health across multiple players, but Santaras, he has the pit. And because of that, the positional advantage delivers two kills. Olaf Meister and Twist both fall in tandem. And now it is Carrigan. He's been quiet, but now he starts to ignite. He's found two, and now really needs to get the Inferno blazing. He looks in the pit, but Santaras, again, just using that position while using the cover to peek on out and give himself these favorable fights. Wants to hear the utility, they're going to send players over towards A. Four players standing over here now for the CT side. Tizian has taken significant damage, but he is the rifle, and the flash is good from Zantaras. That allows him to get the kill, even though he's low in health. Down onto Rain. Carrigan and all of Meister. It's an absolute sweep. It's not the end of the world, but here comes a fast play from Big. Straight into the A bomb set. Yeah, quick play, Seriously opening things up. Keto, Zantaras, and Tabson getting shots between them. And this is not how the script should have called for FaZe Clan. It is completely crumbled on the defense, and Twist tries his best, but everybody was already dead. Meister stepping up for FaZe as well. Tabson does have a couple of opportunities here, but hasn't really capitalized upon any of them. And he's going to at least get him behind the smoke because the flank is coming in from behind. And that's enough. Zantaras just tears them apart in the pistol. And now down to the 1v1. Overpass, actually. I've seen that. I've seen that. Doing great. The vaccine. Make sure you get yours, and if also you want to donate and contribute to the areas of the world that aren't as fortunate as maybe where you are, you can do that below the Twitch channel. And it looks like Face Clan have donated two early kills to a less fortunate team of Big here. So there's two openings. Now they're going to have to try and figure out how they're going to pull this back, and Face Clan are going to go through Monster. But there's two players here, and Zataris is one of them. He's got the rifle. He's mowed them down. He's got a brilliant lawnmower. It's an M4A4 impossible to win these rounds on ops but twist is going to use it like a rifle no scope into keto but this time is ticking they need the kills and twist is doing enough work to turn it into the 1v1 down to the time now pressure ticking for brokey searson once again ice in his veins as he holds back into short and the round it's a replica of around the times ago it's searson that comes on on top of the battle ah for once we'll get a little bit of aggression here for once, there's aggression in Palace, and Yuri gets annihilated. It's just, it's big all over the map, slapping them down. That That's a very decisive round, and Searson's actually out looking for more, and he's going to find a killer. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice timing on that. Tizian with an incredible spray. The Molotov was down. Are you ready for this? Oh, what an impeccable flash, but Art is within the angle. One for one trade, and Zantaris with the double. Very impressive stuff. Honda only just making it around there. That's dangerous, and they know that he's there. They do actually line on, on top of each other, but it doesn't matter. Santaris, three kills. All of the damage at the beginning of the round. Santaris and Searson, two versus three now. That Santaris turns out to be an absolute beast and taking two kills right off the bat. They need to slow this down here, Furia. They do have a little bit of time before they need to go for it. What even was that? That's an instant 180. How it's does he get that? Ridiculous, isn't it? What the hell? Zantaris, you monster. 
Now, they don't actually have a kit picked up. I don't know if there's one on the bomb side, but yeah, they need to do something here. He's getting tagged a little bit. They know where he is, but it doesn't matter. He's going to get four kills, and now he sees Vinny and there's the ace at the end. What a absolutely beastly round from Santaris. He catches them lined up, but yeah, once they're down and out, it's risky, and this is looking real good for Beacon. That third map, K Serato, one versus five. Doesn't really happen almost ever, and um, yeah, that's incredible. We're gonna get there actually. Big hunting him inside of the library at the end of it. I mean, everyone on Big actually playing very well. Searson a little bit ahead, and it's 16 14. Inferno goes to Big, and we are gonna go to Vertigo. Top fragging on Big right now, but out of this round on Searson. Yeah, they knew his position. He's still gonna be sticking around for a kill and pushing for the smoke because, again, he is mega aggressive. Taking the fight to Yuri and actually bringing him down, and they hear the scoping. They must have. They know that he's in here, but they can't get rid of him. He is just unbelievable with this AWP. Three kills so far, single-handedly defending the bombsite. Takes down Vinny. He is a godlike at the moment. Art on his own, one versus three, and Kido will drop him. But I don't know, they got it, they got it set up nicely here right now, Furia. Gotta be careful that they don't get into an afterplant. Oh, wow. He's dead and gone, and so is Yuri. And the problem is the rest of them are low on health. That's why I didn't want the afterplant. And I'm sure Furia wanted it even less. No, but what I am seeing is a big flank coming in here from Tabson, and I'm hoping that he can accelerate into this. Nobody is close to ramp, so he can speed up, but he's going to show up, and by the time he does show up, the party's over. His teammates are dead, unless he kills everybody. What is he doing? Running for a bit more. Another headshot. Tabson, somebody's going to have to stop him. Acor, still got a bit of health left, but Tabson will come in for the eight. Absolutely disgusting. I cannot believe what we just witnessed. He's gonna go for the defuse, and even without the kit, he has enough time for it, I think, at the end. Oh my god! And Echo then also out opening Sirson right afterwards, so that's a good sign for the Echo fans out there to see him do a little bit. Santaris, oh, that's a very clean shot with the M4A1, and he's gonna pick up one more Dexter going down, and Santaris is ready, collapsing the entire attack onto the bomb site. Acor goes down last, and a quad kill for Santaris. That is so cool. This is a strategy that we've been seeing a bit more often lately on Mirage, putting three in Palace to try and pop out onto the A site as quickly as possible here. Oh, and chance for maybe a double up right then. Tabson will fall a little bit back. Still a four on four. Santaris taking down Dexter in the middle. Sirson is there with the orb. They're just tra they're really trading rounds now all the time. Dimas hoping to have a bit of a say. One versus four. He's got the one kill. But Sirson was up on the ticket booth waiting for him to make that jump. So big. Seven to four now. And Sirson is so ready for that. Oh, I say that. But he unscopes and he's going to go down. Very nice follow up shot. Almost, almost able to catch Tamsin on return there. Nice what was this three? Yeah, it is. I mean, that, you know, Master Force, if they get another couple of kills here, they can make it just a bit more expensive, but I don't know. Big seem so fired up right now. They, they have yeah. at least three players that are looking very crisp. So I, I get it, I get it. Some aggression coming in here, but Tapson seems to be ready for it. He's looking for this push. Ready, waiting, and both kills for Tapson. Yep. The accuracy mid is is the obvious weakness in this setup right now, if you're on the mouse spot side. But Big don't know that right now, and they might walk right into this. Not that far away now. Flash through. Oh, and a nice swing. What an opening. He just cracked that A defense right then and there. Dexter walking out slowly big onto the bomb site not feeling that stressed at the moment robs is gonna go down searson pushing through and lo oh my god oh surely relies on the window not being shot out so the mass oh they're not gonna win the fight though frozen just comes walking out maybe a little bit too soon there dexter gonna make the jump down losing health and all nay goes deep oh he takes the shot right through the wall and I don't even understand. Mouse sports looked like they were gonna be in a great position this round, but now they're gonna have to back on out, save what they can, which Absol will not let Acor run away. Making a lot of noise as he maneuvers around, and they're gonna go for the ramp, but there is a boost up here, and they don't know about it. Absolutely shut down. Tabson with the triple, frozen, nodding his head. Not sure why, but regardless, it's gonna be big winning the round in a tremendous fashion.
dude, this is this is looking like bigger. Just got them completely locked down. It's everyone else that seems to be a problem. Frozen. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, but Tamsin is there. What a turnaround that they have. This is really interesting. I mean, there's four people versus two with a USP. It's a bit of a gallery. And it's going to be Acor taking one in return and then the double. I still think that's amazing. Oh, but the nades. Triple naded into oblivion. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Oh, my God. The master's here. But yeah, the rest of the team over by that A ramp. Pretty common type stuff. Nice little jump for Santeris and a nice follow up. A core. Usually very fast, but Searson, the desk mentioned this on this map. Searson seems to be the king of warping, at least compared to A core. And nice shot. Oh! Zen goes down and he's gonna have one more. That is pretty devastating. It's just the, the lineup that people can get. Oh! Edo. Awkward. Yeah, very awkward. I'm impressed at Rob's. That's actually, it's these, those angles are so hard to fight at when you have to look straight up or down like that. Cause there is that pivoting point. Obviously you can't, you can't, you know, keep scrolling up or keep moving your mouse up like that. Eventually you'll have to sort of, you know, spin around the other way. Dexter goes down after I think what looked like a good ch a chance there for him to hit a shot, but didn't really connect. Bomb is going to be going down and big, really well on their way to a 14th round. Tizian, oh. That is not like this. That's clean and perfect. And the follow-up was there. Tizian has actually really shown up to play today. He gets a third headshot, turning around for Honda. Yeah, oh, almost had it. That would have been in so much trouble. Honda pushes through, but it doesn't matter. He's going to be going down nonetheless. 30 seconds, five versus three. And when you defend like that, the position is great. Keto hitting every single shot in this round. Dude, this is outrageous. Keto! Not going to get the ace. That's such a shame. Quad kill for him, though. It's all on timing for Furia, and they wait appropriately. Oh. Still doesn't save him. Oh, it definitely doesn't. Adson just not even not even moving his mouse, just clicking them away. Waited out. A Molotov going deep. They have to push through. They don't have a choice any longer, or they're going to run out of time. Big, try to make sure that Furia don't get this last round. Yuri is going to be dropped out, playing inside of the smoke on top. Honda not quite getting it, but the transfer is there. And Searson, oh, he catches him, spins around, and he'll have time for the defuse. That is a close 1v1 at the end. We do it again, Honda. He's being put to the test now. A little bit of a uh, attempted peek inside of the bomb site. Keserato, a nice mid-air headshot taking down Keto. Absent finding what almost looked like a one-way there with the P250. The bomb has been planted, but can they bring it back? Turns out maybe yes. Tizzy and Tabson. Oh my god! Taking down Vini as well and Honda in the pit. They just win it like it's nothing. Is that smoke to try and shoot above it? Improvising in the moment. Keto. Oh, what a nice flick to take down Vinny. That is amazing. And they're right back in the round. Honda holding the angle with Keto just does not care. But I mean, it's not like Big or rolling in cash either. Very touch and go kind of buy coming in here from Big. Oh, Triple HE! Beautiful! So sick. It's not every day we get to see it work that perfectly. Nice nade. Not quite enough. They need to actually go and find them on this ramp. Yuri is in charge of doing that. Now one versus one as Santeris on the other side. He's got an AK as well. Yuri a little bit desperate here, trying to get the shot off, but the smoke is covering nothing to his right-hand side and Santeris is gonna get the peek in and he gets the kill. The quad at the end for the clutch and how do you get this retake done? Oh, and more Molotovs. It's just so painful. Now the retake has been busted up and then Santeris double kill for him. They just got so delayed behind the Molotovs that now they're just scrambling to get onto the site. There's going to be one kill. Pre-fires it. Yuri picking up the AWP, but Searson just has to wait on the other side. Yuri, he can tap it once, but yep, the peak is delayed and now it doesn't matter. Searson will take him down and it'll be double over time. 31 kills for Searson. We'll take Santeras down. A big getting deep into the middle, but not doing enough with it. I don't know what taps in. What? I don't know. I found that. I knew I found that. Gun definitely showing through it. So just like that, two on four into a two on two, but the Yuri will find the bomb right there. And now it's on Sisson. He's got an isolated one on one over here. Falling back, he's got to be careful about making too much noise here. Okay, Serato, not that far away. And it, I'm not sure Sisson knows that. He's kind of running like he's just making all the noise. He's going to get that kill. Oh, and now he definitely hears it. What a clutch from Sisson. 
be work? Could we do it again? And then suddenly flashbang in your eyes. Ah, though, not a flashbang, but a bullet to the face. That'll do the trick. 45 seconds now. And nice. uh, I don't know. They're, they're sort of, they're really split up on that D CT side now. 2A, 2B. Yeah, exactly. There's a chance here for big. Now that they've, uh, oh, well, we are getting Vinny rotating over hard towards A now. And with big moving up ramp, this is going to be tough. Zantaris? Not happening. Searson walking around with the knife out. He just needs this one round. Two on four. Oh, okay, Serato, he can't complete it. He's on one health, Searson. It's unbelievable. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no way. What a disturbing round of Counter-Strike.